this is uh, one of the thresholding methods called Otsus methods. In this method, by using the threshold, we can detect the object. Say here the rise. This is the initial image, and we wanna detect the rise more clearly. So one of the advantage of this method is that if the object is clearly different than the background, you can easily detect the object. So the way it works is that say this is stage one. In stage two, you can estimate the background by subtracting the background. You can enhance the image from here from image one to image two. Background is enhanced. Now, after that, there is one command called I am adjust. You can adjust the image a little bit more to increase the contrast. The way it will do is it will uh, increase the saturation level one percent uh, for both the high and low. That is actually it will saturate the one percent low value. Uh, as well as uh, it will saturate the one percent high value. Now, after that, uh, uh, we can get uh, we can do another stage of the image. So, in this stage, we can uh, identify different object. So, no. Uh, so, this is after enhancement. Enhancement means this is better. So from this image to that image, it's better because you have saturated. So here is the actual thing. You are doing the thresholding. That means you are saying that if something is greater than say 50, you will call it as an object. If less than 50, you will call. You will not call it as an object. You will call that as background. So and also you can separate different objects i think this uh, process will be only we can use in the fluorescence method where the object and the background is totally different we will not be able to use these things in the oct method especially as in the oct we don't see the image from the top view we see the image from the cross-sectional view so it will be hard to do the this kind of method Let's see how this method works in MATLAB. Uh, if we go to the MATLAB code, let's go one by one in each stage. So let's first see, see the stage. So we are really just reading the data. This is the figure one. Then what we are doing, we are calculating the background. You can set different value here to calculate the background. Then you are subtracting the background. Let's see how thing goes. So you are subtracting the background. So this is after subtraction of the background. This is image two. Then in third step, we are re image readjusting. That means we are changing. We are changing the threshold value of the image. We are changing one. Uh, so here we mentioned that you are actually. Uh, changing the one percent saturation in at low and high intensity. Then, in another stage, you are doing the image thresholding. This is the actual thresholding that you are telling that uh, this is your object and this is background. So this is the stage to tell which one is background and which one is object. And if you can also see that how many uh, objects are connected, how many are not connected. You can also see this information. And finally, if you want to separate each rice grain, you can do that too. So, this is the basically, this is uh, not applicable for optical coding tomography. Thus, this method is good to know. Uh, here, the two takeaway point is that uh, you can calculate the background like this way. You can calculate the background and subtract the background from the image. And another thing is that you can saturate the image. 
So these are the two takeaway points from these methods.